Howdy ho, neighborino, and welcome back to DML. So the Firestar Dragon was only just revealed today, but his elements have actually been confirmed by Gameloft themselves. So obviously, we know that his breeding elements are fire, wind, earth, and plant. But the dragon itself, his elements are actually on the DML wiki. So he has been confirmed to be a legendary light and energy dragon. So I was expecting fire in there somewhere, but obviously they've thrown me for a loop because light and energy. I mean, I guess I can kind of see that in the dragon, but that gives him a base attack of 80 with a base health of 240. So he's still a pretty formidable dragon, but I still don't think he's like top 10. I think there's still a lot of other legendaries that are just way too good compared to him. One of the best combinations you are going to be able to use to breed the Firestar, which is pretty easy for most players to get, is going to be the Orange plus Wind Dragons. And again, I will have a full breeding guide out on this on Sunday when he's actually released, but the Orange Dragon, super, super easy dragon to breed. I'm pretty sure I've been through it before in old videos. But the orange plus the wind gives one, two, three, four, five, six other possible outcomes only, with around about a 3% chance to breed them. And the other breeding times are like 30 minutes, 2 hours, 45 minutes, and a couple of longer ones. There is a better combination in the form of the academic plus fire, or you can replace them with the palm, or the painted, or the scribble, but they are dragons that not everyone is going to have a hold of. So if you are someone that hasn't been playing DML for very long, get your orange dragon ready or start breeding it today because we have a few days of, you know, prep time before the fire star actually comes out. I keep almost saying furnace. Like, for goodness sake, it's not the furnace, it's the fire star. Get that in your head, quacks. And to top all the new news up, we also managed to breed the butterfly dragon. So you can imagine I'm a very happy girl currently. Oh, just look at it sitting in that hatchery. One day for a hatching time. So it's still quite a long hatching time overall. And to be honest, I am still going to try and breed a second one. Just because I want more than one. But, oh god, I am so happy that I finally have this dragon. Oh. But... On top of that, I did also want to make sure that everyone's aware that there are some changes coming to the clan events, because Razvan did talk about this yesterday on the Gameloft forums, and I am not going to go through all of this because, holy god, there is a lot of stuff to read on there, but essentially what seems to be happening is they're making it a little bit easier to get some of, let's say, the rewards from the clan event. So... I'll just read the first thing. It says, Number one, quite a few of the players in very active clans have been reporting a big disparity in the scores that could be obtained from clan races versus the ones from Siege. In order to fix this, we will be tripling all recipe scores from clan races. At the same time, milestone requirements will only be doubled, so the prizes and the overall race milestone will be easier to reach than before in all leagues. So that is, like I said, generally they've just tried to make it a little bit easier, thank goodness, because the clan events were near impossible to actually beat for a lot of lower level clans or people that didn't have, you know, 50 members and were like top clans in the world. So I do recommend going ahead and reading this. The link is right there, but I will link that in the description of the video or the comment section as well. So I guess... Prepare to um, have some more rewards for actually participating in clan events, which is a very positive thing overall. But that is all the new goss that we've got for now, so I just wanted to make this a little bit of a mini update video in case you didn't know any of the stuff that's just gone on. But, you know, look forward to the new Dragon of the Month. If you're still trying to breed the Furnace Dragon, very best of luck to you. Don't give up just yet. You've still got like three days left. So good, good luck to everyone trying. Wish you the best of luck. And until next time, I will see you then.